morning farmers the rain has stopped yeah last episode is raining all day but we got some work done anyways uh how are we doing anyways um well it's the 17th of september got plenty of time uh, we got plenty of time to get everything undone here uh let me go ahead and just double check uh, i got four workers going but they're doing small fields i have to keep track of them i thought today since we've been working so much here episode after episode since we've been harvesting the peas and we then we plowed, then we cultivated, we've been seeding. I'd only got one more field to go, but I think it's time for just a different view. And since we only got these fields around here to do, I think we're going to go down here over the hill and get those fields, well, a couple of them done today, at least that's my goal. Let's jump on down from the balcony as we do. Um, I am going to go ahead and eat because, well, you know, you people have been saying, not only in Farmer's Dynasty, but now Lumberjack's Dynasty, man, we just eat something once in a while. There we go. I just had a meal, so... Um, uh, rejoice uh let me go ahead and also clean my vehicle because um i get i get questions on that like do you ever clean your vehicles so uh yeah it was raining yesterday uh, the reason why i don't i feel like why would i clean my vehicles before i go out and do farm work when it's going to get dirty anyways but we'll, we'll give it a good wash and while we're here how much fuel do i got in stock i got tons of fuels <laughs> i don't need it but uh, we're here right let's go ahead and do that and do that and i'll pick up the seed roll and we'll fill up with of course canola that is what we are planting everywhere everywhere we go we're planting canola and uh, i'm hitting the wrong keys to back up because uh, that's what i do as for the the, the the yard i know somebody did ask me like uh when are you gonna mow the yard um not this year definitely not this year uh, i got two weeks left in the season why mow it because in two weeks from now um the grass will be there again anyways so we're gonna head over the hill uh hopefully get two of these fields done today i was kind of thinking do i want to do any social jobs uh transport no plow the fields 0.78 hectares that's not much to show uh 0.148 now there's two fields up here that 1.48 is it this one yes and this one uh there's another one here somewhere that's 1.48 i know there's two of them i know there's two of them they're the same wait is it the same no uh it's here so um Mm -hmm, mm hmm yeah i'm just gonna keep on okay so it's probably this one maybe i bought the other one that was 1.48 yeah right here i own this one now 1.48 so i used to get that job I'm like what field am i doing uh, it doesn't really matter because i mean if they're both 1.48 what does it matter right um yeah i thought maybe i might do that today but i think i'm just gonna stay focused stay focused farmer uh on getting our fields done uh and then maybe just maybe since the wife should not be in the kitchen today because it's not raining, uh, we will go ahead and maybe dive into the kitchen, maybe start making some meals and go up and see Rose just to get my cash uh, because we're going to be spending lots of it. And I mean lots of it uh, because, well, we're paying people to seed fields, so I got to pay them labor. I got to pay for the seed. And then, of course, well, then comes the fertilizing of 48 fields. And, um... Yeah, we'll just reckon it's going to cost about a thousand dollars. We'll just average out probably like a thousand dollars per field. So there goes fifty grand, and I like to stay above fifty million. Yeah, fifty million. Holy crap, fifty million. Uh, five million dollars by the end of the season. That's my goal, uh, just to keep above five million. Why? Well, I got to give myself some kind of goals in this game at this point. Um, we've done pretty much everything else uh, as we've got done. Now, episode three hundred and one. That's right, 301 episodes now, uh, plus all the testing ones I've done and update videos I did. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just say, we'll, but right now we're just going to focus on 301 episodes. Um, am I going to do another 300? Um, I would bet no on that one, but <laughs> who knows? Who knows? But anyways, yeah, I want to get this field right here seated today and also the one to my left seated here today. Meanwhile, keeping track of our workers. Um, I may get a worker up to that last field that I didn't get to just so I remember that it's done, but we'll double check them all. And then in a couple more episodes, it'll probably be me just running around. Actually, I don't have to run around. Uh, I can just click on the map and say, uh, prop plane, can you come here and fertilize this field and fertilize that field? And how did my seed drill miss that section of the field? Um, whatever. Uh, but yeah, we'll we just be hiring planes left and right, and it will not take us long. Like I said, I could probably actually fertilize all 48 fields in one day. Because it doesn't take long for the worker to fertilize the field with a prop plane. 
I think it, by the, if I cycle four workers, by the time I hire the fourth one to fertilize, the first one might be done. So, it, yeah, it can happen that quick. Not too hard. But we'll see that in the near future. First thing, no, let's get the seed in the ground. So we know it's actually in the ground. And then I'll worry about the fields in seeding. Um, and then we just might, uh, after we make sure, though, we'll make sure before we go to bed that all of our greenhouses uh, have something planted in them. Uh, we'll double check all the fields, but I mean, if it's the last day of the year at that point, what am I going to do about it? Not much, uh, but it'll be good just to know. And then, of course, uh, yeah, then April 1st will come around. We will check the market prices, and then uh, if the market price is good, we'll hire four workers to harvest. We'll harvest ourselves, and uh, on days where the price is not good, uh, the fields that we have already harvested... Well, we can mosey around and plow and cultivate or whatever we feel like doing that particular day. And because uh, basically what I do now during the season, uh, well, I'm not too, I don't want to say not too thrilled, but uh, since we'll be, you know, we're multimillionaires now. Uh, and like I said, I hope to have $5 million still in the bank account bef uh, by the time the end of the year comes. By the end of harvest next year, we should be, you know, at six and a half million dollars in the bank. So... Yeah, I'm not going to be too rushed of like, well, let's hurry up, plow, cultivate, reseed, and harvest again. It's like, yeah, when I get to it, I get to it. Plus, next year, fingers crossed, Timmy comes out of the crib. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised that as soon as Timmy is out of the crib, my wife is going to tell me there's another one on the way. Um, yeah, it might happen just that fast. I mean, as far as fast as uh, Timmy came along. So those of you who've been in here long enough... Uh, we'll probably may even remember um, I spent forever trying to get uh, well me and the missus were having lots of fun let's put it that way just trying to get her get her pregnant and then one day she finally told me she was pregnant and the next day boom there was little Timmy so and that was right after an update uh, that was an early access they kind of made it I don't know if they made it easier for our wives to get pregnant or what happened there or whatever happened there I'm not too sure but uh, she told me she was pregnant the next day there was Timmy. I was like, well, geez, I think I would have noticed something along the lines. Or maybe I thought my wife was just lazy and was in, in the kitchen all the time just eating the food that I was harvesting. I don't know. I got to make up something, right? But anyways, uh, yeah, as for today, just want to get these two fields here seated, like I said. Keep an eye on our workers. Actually, before we go any further, let's just go to farm stats here. So, let's see. I got 35 fields done. That have canola in them. So really, um, uh, quick math there, Peanut. Come on, think quick. Uh, 13. I got 13 fields left. That is not much at all because these fields are small. So with five of us, I got four workers and myself, five of us uh, doing some fields. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's already counting this field because I'm probably, I'm over halfway seated on this field. So might already be counting this one, but you can kind of see what I'm, I'm saying. We don't have many fields left to go. I'm going to be doing two today. The workers are probably going to get a couple done today. So, yeah, we're looking at getting maybe like 10 fields done today. So, yeah, we're we're just about done seeding the fields for darn sure. Like I said, it won't take too long. Uh, like I said, was it today the 17th or 18th, something like that? So we got, we got a good two weeks left in the season. So, yeah, not much of a rush. So if I start doing some social jobs... It's not for the social points, but uh, just to keep our head above the $5 million mark. But we're going to make a good amount of money. I do believe when we go up and see Rose, I don't know how much we can make. I got tons of veggies in the pantry. Um, we'll see what we can make, what we can't make, uh, what the wife has made. And I'm not too particular if I keep uh, tier three cooking meals. Uh, I'll, eat, I'll eat this tier two cooking meals and I'm fine. Uh, and the only reason why I eat at this point is because you guys make me uh, pretty much. Well, plus uh, in Farmer's Dynasty, every time I tell you know you're hungry, it just we do get that that uh, wonderful little tone of a warning, like "ding, you are hungry." Uh, at least in Lumberjack's Dynasty, it doesn't it doesn't make that tone all the time. So I'm okay with that. But we ate this morning, so I should be good for a little while. But that cooking there is only filled me up to eighty. 80% in the way because I was at zero this morning when I woke up. That's the way I feel every morning when I get up at, at 6 o'clock. I feel like I'm at zero. I'm not a morning person. 
I'm an evening person. An evening person does not care about morning person. Yeah, sure, stay up until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Eh, we'll be fine when the alarm goes off. Alarm goes off. You son of a... Mm, uh, I hate evening person. That's my life. Alright, so we are just about done here. When I get done here, gotta check on my workers. Some may be taking breaks. Uh, no breaks allowed in September. It, it's it's full tilt all the way until we're done. And then you can take... Then, then I'll see you in six months. Is it six months? October, November, December, January, February. Yeah, you got six months off, dudes. Ladies. Actually, it's always dudes. Uh, it's always the same exact guy. Um, quadruplets, I guess, is the term I guess I could use. Is it quadruplets? Yeah, it must be quadruplets. Yeah, it's the same worker in all, in all vehicles. Getting a little hungry. I just flipped and ate like an hour ago, it seems like. In game time, not in real time, but uh, in game time. I just ate like a flip an hour ago and it already says I'm hungry. So, yeah, I've, I've only lost 15 food. Amazing. Alright, one last strip here. And i got to get that one little piece on the side of the field over there. Try to get up to 100%. I don't think I'll ever get up to 100% in the field, but I'll get pretty close. Well, we're at 99.88. I think the closest I've ever been is 99.98 on seeding a field. Right, so we got that little piece here, and then there's a piece over here. And 99.97. Uh, why is that... Is it not fertilized? Is it not plowed, cultivated? Why Why is that little... That, that's my last 0.3 or 0.03%. It won't, uh, the color texture's not changing, so it's not like I'm not seeding it. How about if I go this way? Nope. Doesn't want to do it. Doesn't want to do it. All right, let's check the map. Um, I'm down to one worker. Uh, so that means I can hire, yes, math everyone, three workers, three. Uh, that field's done, that one's done, that one's done, that one's done, and that one's done. Well, are we just all moseying along nicely? All right, so this field over here, I was going to do it today, but I said, you know, we've been working over here forever. Uh, let's get the heck out of there and let someone else do it. Yeah, 1438 to sow that field. So I got to hire two more workers after this. You got to wait like six seconds in between hiring workers. Uh, it's just a thing. You got to let the workers spawn on the map because then if it gets too confused, uh, we don't want that happening. So you just got to wait a second or two. And there he is. Um, that one's done. That one's done. You are working on that one nicely. Actually, the worker that was just here. Uh, no, no, uh, no, Peanut. You're all getting confused. I know. You know, let's get someone to do one of these big fields. 3.15. They'll keep you busy for a while. $2,300. Yep. Yeah, the money just keeps going down. I got $51,000 left. Uh, then uh, red flags will go up. Uh, my wife will not want to see that five turn change to a four. So I'll have to just do something about that. We'll go up and see Rose at some point. Not today, but um, hopefully we'll get uh, get in the kitchen. All right, uh, so I got a worker there. How about we hire one for here? Got canola for days. Yes, I don't. I just hired a worker to sow canola. Um, that should be four workers. Yep, we're all good. How much seed do I got? 68. I don't know if that's enough to get this field done, but... I'm getting this field done today. I got to do my two fields just to make the other workers like, well, he is actually doing something. He's just not sitting around the farm, which I could because, you know, it's my farm. I got the money. I'm paying workers. If I want to take the day off, I should be able to. But uh, as we found out many episodes ago, my wife does not like me hanging around the farm. You know, that, that's, that's how you keep your relationship going. You can't spend 24-7 with someone. Um week in and week out because after a while you just you know it doesn't matter how much you love someone it's just like can you just really you know you need time apart you need time apart to miss each other remember that time apart is good for you in a relationship all right let's turn this around because if i remember this field here will not count if i go north this is it north and south on the map because now I'm going east to west. I think so. Hey, when you go north to south in this field, for some reason, the field doesn't pick up uh, what you're doing in your kind of field work. Uh, 
I don't know why, but for some reason when I, when I come back to Farmer's Dynasty for playing a lot of Lumberjack's Dynasty at this point, it just seems like when you do work in the fields now, it seems rather slow. But then I'm looking at it, I'm like, no, that's the speed I should be going. But in Lumberjack's Dynasty, you're not doing any field work. You're just driving around. Well, at least I drive around like a maniac trying to get work done. But I do like uh, at least how they change the storyline from Farmer's Dynasty to Lumberjack's Dynasty. Uh, here, you, you acquired the farm because um, your grandfather passed away. His grandfather, right? I do believe so. I mean, it's been two and a half years for me since I started Farmer's Dynasty. So, yeah, I think it's your grandfather passed away in Lumberjack's Dynasty. Yeah, you're your your hmm, your shady aunt, uncle uncle and aunt live across the street. The reason why I say shady, uh, the uncle really hasn't done much for us yet. He gave us a rundown. Well, I shouldn't say he gave us. Um, he gave us fifty percent ownership of the sawmill that was run down and that wasn't working at all. Uh, he has a brand new tractor and a logging trailer that he won't let us use. And her aunt always says uh, she's got food for us, and I never... I'll have to double check on that but before I say it, but as far as I, can, I know, she's never given me any food. Something's going on with those two. But I'm almost... I don't want... I hate to say it this way, but I'm almost rid of them. I almost got the 250000 for that sawmill. Uh, but anyways, yeah, back to here. Um, yeah, we're getting along rather well. One field done. Uh, already 16% done in this field. I don't know if I get enough seed to finish it. Uh, but the way it's going, really, uh, with the workers, uh, I thought we had more fields of seed than what we already, uh, what we have left. So we're getting along better than I thought. I was thinking I had maybe like another three days, but really after today, I'm thinking maybe one more day and we'll be done seeding, uh, which sounds great. So that just means that will allow me to take my time and... I don't want to say take my time. I think we'll get fertilizing done in one day. And then we'll take another day. Uh, we'll go up and see rows. Uh, sell everything that we can. And then, uh, yeah, we'll top off the greenhouses near the last day of September-ish. I never like to do it on the last day of the year. I try to do, like, the second to last day. Why? I, I don't know. This is what I do. Uh, we'll go around on top of the greenhouses. Then take a lot. We'll hibernate like a bear. And um, we'll see what April brings. Now, I'm not sure if Timmy... I can't remember exactly when Timmy was born. I don't know if you got to wait four years to the day when he was born. Or is it just going to be like the 4th April and he's going to be like, uh, I'm finally out of the crib. And I'm like, about time, you're four years old. So we'll have to wait and see what happens next spring. Oh, the question is, can I get this field done? Without having to go back to refill the seed drill. Um, I'm guessing probably not. Because uh, the way my luck has been today in real life. Um, I'm guessing it'll pro I'll probably like 5% more need to get down in the field. And I'll be like, I, I, you're going to make me go back. Top this thing off to get the extra 5% done. And the game's like, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you don't want to, you don't have to. And I'll be like, well, of course I want to. This is winter canola. Of course I want to. All right, so let me zip around here. When I mean zip around here, I mean at a whopping 14 kilometers an hour. Uh, I don't know what was that like nine miles? Uh, yeah, 14 kilometers an hour. I think that's like nine miles an hour. I have no idea of the conversion right now, um, but something like that. But uh, let me get more of this field done. I mean, you've been seeing me do this now for oh wow, uh, coming up on uh, about uh, 18 minutes. So <laughs> let me go ahead, finish seeding up this field. Well, as far as I can. See how far I get. And then uh, hopefully when we go over the hill to the house, the wife is not in the kitchen. And uh, we'll go down and start grabbing stuff out of the pantry and start making a lot of dishes. And we'll stack them back in the pantry for a later day. Well, not quite 5% left like I thought. It's more like 12% before I, I ran out of seed. I had to go back and fill up. But we're just about done here. I have been checking on the workers. One of the workers did finish. And he's over now seeding another field, obviously. Um, I did check the farm stats to see how that's how we're making along. And uh, really, uh, we're down to 10 fields left. So, yeah, definitely probably just one more week of seeding the fields before we go ahead and start fertilizing. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll rip through the fertilizing rather quick. Like I said, we're just going to hire some prop, prop planes to go over our fields and just dust crop them. 
dust crop them. But yeah, I think we can call it that. Um, yeah, we'll take care of that in a couple weeks and then uh, get a lot of things done. But I do hope to take care of some cooking here very shortly. But I want to take this time as I got this last of the field here to finish on up. Um, I have started a new series on the channel uh, starting about a week ago or so called Journey of Life. If you haven't checked it out, maybe go check out the first episode. If you kind of like survival games, it is an early access. Uh, but the game has come a long way since it came out ooh, Wow, a while ago. Uh, it was really buggy when it first came out. I'm like, I... Nah. Uh, but now it's not that bad. Uh, I shouldn't say that's not that bad. It's actually very, uh, very good. But there's some things not implemented yet. But uh, give it a look if you haven't already. And as you've seen this video, if you're seeing the video as the day, when this day it comes out, tomorrow I will be starting Among Trees, which is a game I bought when it uh, came out. I just haven't had a time to stick it anywhere in our schedule. Um, but I found some time for it this week. I took out uh, some Lumberjack Dynasty days just because, well, um, yeah, we're waiting for more content for Lumberjack's Dynasty. Uh, that was not, that didn't go over too well with some people, so, <laughs> I mean, I do apologize for that, but, uh, yeah, we're kind of repeating ourselves on Lumberjack's Dynasty, just cutting down trees and selling, cutting down, no replanting, uh, no animals, I can't, uh, keep showing the same thing every other day in Lumberjack's Dynasty, so, yeah, among trees, I cannot wait to, uh, dive into that game just yet, I haven't gotten to the game just yet, but, um, had my on it for a while, before it got released and they got released. I got the game on Epic Games and that was that was rather cheap too. I had like a uh, Epic Games that had a $10 coupon plus the game was on sale. So I got it for like seven bucks. Um, but uh, that video, if you're like I said, if you're watching this video as the day it goes live on a Friday, uh, tomorrow will be episode numero uno of Among Trees, another survival game. So we'll give that a whirl and see how it goes along. Uh, I haven't watched anyone play the game yet because I kind of like when I, when I start up a game, I kind of like to uh, immerse myself in the game and see it for the first time so you kind of get my reaction to it. I don't want to watch someone else play it right away and go like, well, this is what we need to do, this is what we need to do. You know, it's, it's part of maybe sometimes watching some videos, getting their reaction, seeing it the first time and trying to figure things out. But um, it does kind of suck, though, if you don't know what you're doing. You're spending 20 minutes like... Uh, how do I do this? How do I do that? 99.92. I don't think I'll ever beat 99.98, I don't think. Uh, before I, I don't want to say quit for seating for the day. Uh, so you're going there, you're going there, yeah, you're going there. So all four workers are are going strong. Actually, while I was in there, farm stats. Does that count? Yeah, so I just finished the field. So yeah, uh, 48 fields. I know it says we own 50, uh, but two of them is our parking lot. I have to keep saying that because someone says, your math is off. You got 50 fields. Uh, two of our fields we don't, we, don't, uh, we don't plant in. So I got 39, 39 fields planted. So yeah, we're, like I said, we're like a day away. A day away. Um, I don't know if I want to see to that field down there. I may leave a field across the road. Just so we have different areas on the map to go to. Uh, yeah, I mean, even I, after a while, I was like, I got to stop working up there because, you know, we've been there for so long. So that's why we're over here today. Now we're going to park up the tractor. I'm going to leave the seed right in the seed drill. It's not supposed to rain or anything like that. So the seed should be nice and dry sitting in here for as long as it's going to, which is only uh, about 18 hours or so. Actually, what time is it? One o'clock in the afternoon already. Okay. No, my luck, uh, the wife will be in the kitchen, right? No, nope, she's outside. Yeah, this is my wife, Allison. Um, hint, hint, Lumberjack's Dynasty. I've been saying I have a wife picked out. Um, add it together, people. Um, yep, so there's my wife. Uh, yeah, so she's out here. Can I, can I go use the cooktop? All right, thanks. Uh, James is happy. Rex is happy. The yard looks like crap, I know. Uh, what do I have in my inventory? Do I have enough inventory space? Why am, I why am I carrying fancy chocolates around? I have no idea. Um, yeah, anyways, let's go down here. I probably should have checked to see what I needed to make things with. Uh, but definitely we'll grab... Where's my milk? Milk, milk, milk. Uh, oh, so how about scroll up? So I got 1665 milk. Can I just, uh, can I just grab it all, please? Uh, there we go. Uh, let's grab, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm making. So let's just grab some stuff. 
Let's just grab a whole bunch of stuff. I'll grab... I don't have many mushrooms, do I? Uh, yeah. Uh, not goose eggs. Where's my eggs eggs? Uh, we'll leave the eggs there for now because the egg meals seem to be... Oops, I'm, I, I'm just clicking everything, aren't I? Um, the fish I'm keeping for James. Let me grab the honey. I already got a lot of canned foods down here. Wow, I got 330. I was like, oh, wow, I'm running low on red egg casserole. No, you're not. Jeez, look at... I got tons of it in here. Um... Let me grab those. Uh, we'll grab those. Uh, no, I don't want. I don't want that. Um, apples? Can I? Can I grab the apples? I got more in my inventory. Okay. Uh, two, 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 two. Uh, wait, no, that's everything. Everything I can see, uh, we have. So yeah, the goose eggs and duck eggs. I don't know. Um, I'm, I was kind of hoping now with Lumberjack Dynasty with unique recipes, maybe they'll come out with that with Farmer's Dynasty. Unique recipes, we can use those eggs. Uh, but meanwhile, let's get back up to the cooktop and get there before the wife uh, arrives. And actually, let me just go ahead and take a quick screenshot because, well, you already seen the thumbnail. Um, all right, so what can we make in here? Uh, a lot of stuff, apparently. Um, where's the good stuff? Uh... Nope, cookbook recipes. Boy, it's been a while since I cooked that. I'm like, boy, there's a lot of recipes in here. Yeah, we got the we got stage one or tier one and tier two. Uh, red egg casserole. I can make a lot of those. Um, what is this requiring? Is that just regular eggs? Honey ice cream. Okay. Um, wow, the recipes are not like I thought they were. Uh, yeah, that's what you get when you play another similar game and the recipes are all whacked. Uh so let's go ahead and make how many of these can I make here uh, keep on going up I, I thought I scrolled all the way over all right I can make 1336 of the original egg casserole man I, I remember when they first came out cooking you only can do one at a time that would have been rough um, I think I used all the eggs um, wow so I'm not going to be able to make a whole bunch am I uh, I can make a lot of canned foods Honey apple pie. Um, I didn't check the beehives today, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I've been doing so many beehives on Lumberjack Science. I'm fine. 242 honey apple pie. Actually, that sounds pretty darn good right now. Um, there we go. So there's that. So really, um, other than making canned food, uh, what else can I do? So apples require honey and milk. I just used basically all the milk or honey, so I don't have none of that left. Uh, I can make zucchini soup. Um, I don't think I got any more eggs left, so let me just go ahead and uh, can all this stuff up as much as I can here. Uh, Rose is going to go broke, probably. That's all I got to say. So I got more veggies than I thought I did. Uh, applesauce. Let's go ahead and make that. Now, I'm not leaving anything for my wife to cook with, but uh, she can deal with it. It's only for a couple weeks. Italian tomato soup. Those were the days. I think I ate a lot of those for a while. Spicy pumpkin soup is next. I know that uh, we do, do that for Missions of Farmer's Dynasty, but um, yeah, I'm done really pretty much doing social jobs for social points. I'm not too concerned about that. Occasionally, we will go out and plow and uh, sometimes cultivate. Um, yeah, I don't think... The one thing that's kind of weird, we don't actually get seed the field uh, quests, do we? It seems kind of odd. But maybe they couldn't implement it somehow. Uh, what are we down to? Canned melons. The last melon. Actually, I do have some con uh, milk left because I can make condensed milk. So I'm not going to sell any of this stuff today. We're going to go up and uh, when we when we finally get done seeding the fields, we'll go up and surprise Rose with uh, everything that we have. But at least our wife will be able to start collecting milk and eggs for next season. So yeah, I'm done. Oh well, no, no. What am I not done? Not even close there, Peanut. You got like three more things to go ahead and make. Could you imagine trying to make these many canned canned uh, meals that we're doing? I mean, 9,000 alone of canned pepper. Uh, can we can we max out? 
here. I tried to move the bar as far as I could. Yeah, try to try to make 8,500 canned pepper on a four burner cooktop, or is it a five burner? Five burner. Either way. Uh, pickles, uh, pickles. I'm trying to max it out here, so I have to keep hitting this little arrow over here. Mmm, pickles. I am ready for the end of the world right now. If 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 I just left all the stuff in the pantry, I'm ready for the end of the world. Kind of. Um, <laughs> food wise, I'm ready for the end of the world. All right, it's the last. Hot sauce spicy. Well, usually hot sauce is spicy, but uh, okay. And there we go. I almost have one heck of a pantry to ha uh, handle all these dishes and cans, canned goods. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, select all that I can here. Seven one four three. That's gonna be a few. Uh, four eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and hopefully I can just click all these and it should be maxed out. Um, I'm even going to put the spicy pumpkin soup away. No, nope. Did I just put some my chainsaw in the pantry? Uh, that is good. Uh, so that is everything. Oh, great. Now my chainsaw is... Uh, um, yeah, I'll stay there. I, I actually don't know why I'm carrying around some of this. Like the chainsaw, I, I don't use that anymore. I should probably put that away, right? I'm trying to think, do I use a chainsaw for anything? Heck no, I don't. Um, so all this food here, except for the goose and duck eggs, will be sold. I will probably keep some of the red egg casserole for us to go ahead and eat. So, oh, and, yeah, and the fish over here, that's for, that's for James out there. But we are done cooking. So, like I said, in a day, in a couple days or so, we'll go up and see Rose and uh, say, hey, Rose, um, are, are you ready for this? Hey Ronnie, how's it going? How you doing? Eight, 15 chickens. Am I losing chickens? Or is 15 the max now? I thought 20 chickens was the max. I don't remember. I do not remember. Um, I was going to say, well, wait, where's my wife? My wife is nowhere in sight. Let me just, well, there's Timmy. There's James. And Rex is down by the fireplace. Well, I guess since the wife thought I was around the house, I can take care of Timmy and she took off. Uh, I usually catch her up in Redberry just wandering around up around the church. So, yeah. Yep, so next year we'll have to plant the, uh, plant the flowers all over again. Uh, we'll take care of the yard on some day when uh, the price is not good. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, I want to get the map out. Uh, four workers going. Uh, just wanted to, just curious. Canola price today, 8.3. I think canola price, that is a decent price if I remember correctly in the 800s. I don't think I've ever seen it 9 or 1,000. Uh, that'd be too good. But 800s is pretty darn good price. But that, that, we gotta wait until next year. Wait, did I sell? Do I still got lupine here? I still got 50,000 kilograms, 50,000 tons of, of lupine. That's just kidding me. It's like, why is that marked on the map? I don't know. Uh, what's Lupine going for? Lupin. Ooh. 790. I mean, there's a good amount of cash right there, right? That might be... Uh, hmm. I'll try to remember for next episode to sell some Lupine if it's up, if it's up that good. I mean, uh, I'll wait a little bit longer and see what uh, the price gets up to, but... Um, don't want to wait too long. <gasps> that worker... No, oh, he's still going. I was like, <laughs> he's not on the map. I'm like, I'm down. I'm down to four, uh, three workers. Uh, farm stats, yeah, 39. Um, 40 fields now have canola in it, so we're down to eight fields. Eight fields left. Or at least that's what that says. Uh, but yeah, anyways... Oh, I forgot an apple. And no honey here anyways. Uh, but that's what we're going to wrap it up for today. So let me head on down. We'll see what Rex is up to. Which is um, him being stuck at the fireplace like like he has been now for like 50, 60, maybe even longer than that episodes. Hey buddy, you can't run away if you wanted to, but um, I never feed you and you always have a heart. So I'm, I'm guessing the wife is feeding you. Let me grab the bench here. But that's going to do it for today guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here on A Day in the Farm. But until then, 
Have a good one.